derivative of the following. So what we'll do here is use the quotient rule. So that means what we're going to do first is take the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the denominator. And then we're going to take the denominator squared. So we end up with 2x times x squared plus 1 minus x squared minus 1 quantity 2x. And I'm going to skip the writing the denominator for now. We're going to multiply this out. So we get 2x cubed plus 2x minus, don't forget to distribute the minus sign, 2x cubed minus or plus 2x. So the two 2x's cancel out. We can combine the two 2x's. So we get 4x over quantity x squared plus 1 squared. And that's it. Alrighty. I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching. And I'll see you next time.